So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start animating in Photoshop. So let's get started. First, go to File, New, and choose your resolution. Uh, I have 1280 by 720, which is the resolution of HD video. So you can change it according to your preferences and click OK. Now what you have to do is um, go here window and animation. So this shows this kind of thing animation frames. Now uh, you can choose between frames and timeline. Here you can see this icon if you click here it changes into timeline and if you click here it changes into frames so first uh, I'm gonna show you how you can animate using frames uh, this mode frames mode uh, this is not the professional way to animate so it's a it's just a feature in Photoshop which helps you to uh, create some basic animations but having said that it depends upon your skill you might be able to uh, create very, you know, sophisticated animation with this animation frames too. But still, uh, professional animators use timeline instead of, in, in, instead of this kind of frame option. So, so you can see here, this is the frame, only one frame. You can add frames by clicking here okay so you can see here zero second so zero second this thing is the time between two frames so you have to set the time so I'm gonna set 0 0.0.1 0 .1 sec one second uh, for this animation tutorial so this is the background layer as you can see now I'm going to create another layer here and draw something here. Another layer. Draw this. Another layer. Okay. So we have 16 layers plus one background. So I have drawn um, different drawings on different layers. Now what you have to do is add frames. So in first frame, I would only enable this layer one. So to do so, hold the Alt key and click here and then go here click here another frame comes do the same thing in layer 2 and then another frame layer 3 another layer 4 5 So as you can see, every individual frame has different drawings, but the background is not there. So let's go again to the first frame and enable the background. Second, enable, third, enable. Now you can see there are drawings and also the background. 
So this is the way you animate using these animation frames. Here is the play key, play button, so you can click here and see your animation. See? That's how you animate using this frames mode. That's pretty cool, right? Another way of doing animation is using this timeline. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this thing. I'm going to close this and again create a new file with the same screen resolution. Okay. You have uh, enabled the timeline mode. Now, after doing that, what you have to do is unlock this background. Okay. Double click here, click OK, and this unlocks the background layer. And now this is layer zero. So you can see this thing here. Okay. This is the layer zero. Now, what you have to do is go to layer and video layers and choose new blank video layer so this is the layer where you're gonna draw your animation okay so I'm gonna do the same thing I have uh, I did in the last animation in frames mode now uh, I'm gonna do the same thing in timeline mode here's the thing here you can click here and you can go to document settings and you can set the frame rate so by default it's 29.97 this frame rate is good for smooth animation if you're going to make a kind of smooth animation and high quality animation then you can choose this but for now I can choose 12 frames per second and click OK. Now you can see a little bit of difference in this timeline. So now the thing here is uh, you don't have to make so many layers here while you animate uh, on this timeline mode. Let me show you. Draw the ball here and then what you have to do is press the right key, right button, okay? When you press the right key, it goes to the second frame. Now I have to tell you one thing. Again, let's go to this option and you have to enable timeline shortcut keys in order to be able to uh, press the right key button, uh, right key to shift to another frame. If this is not enabled, your key, right right or left key won't work. Another thing I have to tell you is uh, we have to enable these onion skins. When you, uh, when you enable the onion skin, you can see the first frame even when you are on the second frame. You are on the first frame, now you are on the second frame but you are still able to see the first frame but the thing is it is quite dark here so you can go to onion skin settings and uh, you can change the opacity to like 30 okay and click OK now when you are on first frame this is dark and when you are on second frame it's kind of transparent okay so on second frame I can draw these and press right key like this right key another frame okay okay now you have drawn the drawn all the frames here and now what you have to do is drag this okay 
up to the frame you want. Okay. Okay. You can drag here. You can also drag this to here because your video is not so long. Now here is play button and you can play here. Okay. Because the onion skin is enabled, you can see the yeah, the transparent drawings. So go to go here and disable the onion skin. Now click uh, here. Okay, this is playing all the frames. So we have to drag here and make the selection here. Okay. So now only the selected area is played. Okay. That looks quite cool. So the animation is done. So you can do animation from your Photoshop without having any other fancy animation softwares. So the last thing you would like to do is of course render the video so you can go to file export render video and you can choose the file format here uh, I'd like to select the folder here choose mp4 go to settings and choose the image size my size is 1280 by 720 okay or if you go to another this uh, mp4 improved option you can choose your custom size here and choose 1280 by 70, 720 or whatever you have chosen and for frame rate you have to choose 12 because I have you know, set my frame rate to 12 click OK and then render mm. now you can go to the file and check the animation so that's a cool animation here you can see this your first animation video is ready so hope you like the video if you have any question you can comment and if you like the video click like and you can subscribe thanks for watching